Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Military Force and in the recent poll on our channel with over 1,800 votes you guys voted in favor of this. This is the Lockheed Bard F-35 Lightning II. It's an American 5th generation fighter jet already entered service with Australia, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway, South Korea, Israel, and the United Kingdom with future customers like Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Finland, Germany, Poland, Switzerland, and Singapore. So I think it's a pretty great aircraft because you will see this in service all around the world and for quite a long time in the future, they plan to operate these until 2070. Although the F-35 program was known for having a really expensive overblown budget it's still a very capable aircraft stealth technology with internal weapons bay it's using a single engine and it's also a multi-role jet there's actually three variants the f-35a the f-35b and the f-35c so for the f-35a this is different from the other variants because it does have this machine gun represented by a bump and it also does have a tail hook bump towards the back right there and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it used by the US Air Force. Moving on to the F-35B used by the Marine Corps. Now, this is different because it uses Stovall, which is short takeoff and vertical landing. It's replacing the Harrier. And uh, basically it has lift fans. There's a giant fan over here and some fans right in front of this landing gear just like blowing out so it can go vertically up in the air and in the back it features a swivel nozzle for the engine so it actually faces down and kind of blows air down and there's all these sort of hatches around at first i thought there was only this main hatch but it turns out there's also this one right here there's another one down here i guess it helps with that one and there is also another pair here just to move this out of the way for the swivel nozzle. I also made it different by angling the aileons back over here and the horizontal stabilizers back as well because they often do that when they're going vertically up. So if there's like a really short runway, like an aircraft carrier, the HMS Queen Elizabeth, they can take off the ski ramp easily with this. The last one, the F-35C, this is used by the US Navy on their aircraft carriers. The biggest difference between this and the other ones is this large wingspan. It's larger than the other ones because it does need more lift to take off uh, aircraft carriers. It also is different because the way they expand the wings, it's not just in width, it's also in length, so this thing actually kind of goes really closer, touches the rear horizontal stabilizer, while if you look on the other one, there's more of a gap between it. They also angled the rear horizontal stabilizer, so this one is a lot more pointy and angular, and this one's more chunkier. It also does have that tail hook bump. Also, its land gear is fitted to go on catapults, so they have like this end rod right here sticking out and this little bar here, which you will not see on the other variants. So it is pretty robust, and we also have this version with the folded up wings because it's used on aircraft carriers. They need to conserve space, so that's uh, one way you can tell. Now the way I made this fighter jet was using a little hack here with the pistons, debug stick, taking them out. But for the sake of the tutorial, I found a way you can circumvent that because the difference between a block and a slab is just way too drastic. So I needed something in between to go between these layers. So I came out with this wall here, it just goes a little bit down. It's also like the same color, so it could blend in really nicely. And these are replacing the old F-35 design, which I made back in January 2019. It's almost coming on its fourth year anniversary. One of the big features that we changed was just making it dark gray color because that's the color they really use instead of this like light gray color. Also we made the cockpit much wider so it's like two blocks wide while this one is one block wide and generally we made it fatter <laughs> because the F-35 to be honest it's kind of a fat aircraft. And if you guys want to see the F-22 fighter jet redesign, hit the like button down below. Let's reach 400 likes and I'll get started on that. I know it's a pretty high goal, but I think you guys can do it. Also, let me know down in the comments section which F-35 variant is your favorite. So for this tutorial, we're going to be building the F-35A and then later off, if you guys are interested in making the F-35B, or the F-35C, we will modify the F-35A version. So this is kind of be our base model. So first, let's grab some materials. We're gonna take out a grindstone wheel, a birch fence, cyan terracotta, smooth stone block, spruce sign, polished deep slate slab, spruce trap door, gray stained glass pane, polished deep slate stairs, and that's it. So first off, we're gonna make this um, 
birch fence is going to be two blocks above the ground. Underneath, we'll add in a grindstone wheel. Spruce sign to the side. Polished deep slate slab here. A spruce trap door right there. Smooth stone on top. Say and terracotta. Let's make it four blocks long here. One, two, three, four. In the front, we'll add in another one here. And we'll make it actually an L shape like that. Then upside down, polished deep slate stairs here. Then we'll add in Saiyan terracotta all the way across to the back of this. Then we'll add in gray stained glass pane, one here. Dangly down six blocks long, so four, five, six. Then our polished deep slate wall, three blocks long here. Front cobbled deep slate stairs here. Cobbled deep slate slab underneath. Spruce trap door. And a daylight detector, make it blue. Then I'm going to add another brick slab here. Black concrete, three blocks long. Daylight detector here, make it blue. Dark oak trap door and a black uh, carpet. Two blocks wide of black glass panes. Then an iron trap door right there. And then we'll add in eight cyan terracotta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll add in three polished deep slate walls. And then back over here, I'll add a stone button, skip a block, stone pressure plate. Back here, stone pressure plate, and then a birch button. That. Then we'll add in polished deep slate slab to the side of this. And we'll extend this so it lines up with the iron trap door. And then we'll add an upside down polished deep slate stairs right there. Then we'll add in cyan terracotta right behind this. And we're going to extend this all the way to the back part right there. Also add it underneath this wall like this. And then we'll add in a daylight detector. So we'll make that four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. And then a spruce trap door here. And we'll make all these daylight detectors blue. Then we'll add in a polished deep slate slab three blocks long. One, two, three. All right, next underneath this, we'll add in two blocks tall of polished blackstone brick. Spruce trap door underneath. And then our deep slate brick slab. Gonna add one here, another one at the bottom. Polish um, deep slate stairs here, facing outwards. And upside down one facing inwards. Then we'll add in two deep slate brick slabs here. And then we'll add another polished deep slate stairs here. The polished deep slate slab, make it two by two, add one to the edge, and then add another two here. Then we'll add in cobbled deep slate slab here, then three on that side. And then we'll add in um, cyan terracotta on the inside of this, all the way across like that. And then we'll add in smooth stone block right behind this glass pane. And then we'll go over here and we will skip three blocks, add in polished deep slate stairs all the way across to the back. Then we'll add in polished deep slate um, walls. We're gonna make that three blocks long here. And then we'll need our spruce trap doors and we're gonna add in so that they're back to back like this. And we'll make it three blocks long. And then we'll switch up the middle part and we'll place a birch trapdoor instead. Like that. And then add in another three polished deep slate walls. Like that. All right, next we'll go to the back down here. Add a spruce trapdoor. Then two polished deep slate slabs. And then a spruce trapdoor here. Then we'll add in cyan terracotta from the middle part all the way up so it matches up where this trap door is. And we'll make another line across this way. I'm going to take out polished deep slate stairs and I'm going to add upside down to the side of this uh, glass pane and upside down and side stairs there. Then we're going to add in uh, five of these polished deep slate stairs. So one, two, three, four, five. And then make an L shape of diorite walls. 
and then a birch fence gate open it up right there black wall over here and then a lever to the side of this so button right there polished black stone brick slab on top and a wall in front and then three polished deep slate stairs here skip a block two more and then a polished deep slate slab with polished diorite slab right inside there all right then over here to the side we'll add in a polished deep slate slab and add in a spruce trap door and we'll make this four blocks long, so one, two, three, four, and then a spruce trap door there. And then um, polish deep slate slab here. And then go in the back, we'll add in cobbled deep slate slab. Get add two here. And then go diagonally, add in three. And then diagonally this way, two blocks wide here. Then diagonally this way, another two here. Diagonally one, diagonally another one. And then we'll fill in the inside of this with polished deep slate slabs all the way across. Just like this. Alright, then we'll go down here, add in um, upside down polished deep slate stairs, and we want to make it so it's three blocks wide cornered, so it's like, sort of looks like it's going ahead of this wheel, uh, just like that. Alright, next we'll go next to this birch fence gate, add in a stone button there. Go to front. Underneath uh, this glass pane, we'll add a spruce trap door, skip block another one, and then a polished deep slate slab in between, like that. And then we'll go behind this spruce trap door, add in a birch button like that. Then we're going to make this banner, so go inside the loom, add in gray banner with black dye, row on the top third, put it back inside, and then gray dye. We're going to make this go across the corner, so it kind of cuts it off. And we'll just place it in the back of the cockpit. It really helps make the shape of the F-35. All right, so that's it for this side. So copy everything we did over here and build the other half. All right, once we have both halves, it looks like this. So now I'm going to add in the machine gun. That's just going to be polished deep slate stairs. Going to corner the edges here, three blocks wide like that. While the other side will add in one stairs slab and then Dale detector, make it blue like so. And then we'll also go to the wing, punch in a hole here, add it a polish and a sight slab in. It's just on that side. All right, so once you do that, that's pretty much it on how to make the F-35A. And this is where we're gonna split off the tutorial. Now first, I'm gonna convert this to make the B version. All right, so I turned off my shader so it's easier to build. And let's get started on the F-35B. So first off, let's go in the back and we're gonna cut off this nozzle here at the tip. Delete a block here. And we'll actually delete this block inside, a polished black stone brick block in there, and a slate wall on the outside, and then our deep slate brick wall here. Deep slate brick wall underneath these stairs. Delete these two blocks right there, and we'll add in a dark oak fence gate in between, open that up, and then deep slate brick stairs upside down on both sides of this. All right, then we're actually going to change these stairs so that they're facing towards the back, like that. And we're also going to modify uh, this stabilizer to make it angled, so move that slab down a block, and we'll move the tip of it up a block, just like this. And if you guys do want to customize it further, you can because, yeah, these are adjustable in real life you can make it one slab 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 instead of one slab two slab one slab anyways next up on the wing we have to have the marines written here so take out our polish andesite make it two blocks wide right over there then we'll go over here we'll delete uh this pressure plate these two actually actually these stone bun as well delete this um iron trap door and we're going to delete three blocks here and we'll add in this polished deep slate stairs here. Another one facing towards the front. Delete this block here. Add a cracked uh, polished blackstone brick block inside with a birch, I mean a blackstone button inside like that. Then we'll go here, skip a block, and we'll delete these two blocks here. And we'll change these slabs into stairs like this. Inside we'll add in say in terracotta and then our birch trap doors two blocks wide open them up like so 
Next, we'll add in a diorite wall here, spruce trap door behind it, open it up, and then polish uh, deep slate slabs two blocks wide on either side of this, and then spruce signs to the sides of that. And then we'll add in upside down polished deep slate stairs, both sides of this. And then three blocks wide of polished deep slate walls. At the very tip, there's going to be a birch trap door. We're going to close that up just like that. And then we're going to move down here and we're going to change this. I think we'll just delete everything here. And then we're going to add in our polished deep slate slab, two blocks long here. So it's going to be one, two, and a spruce trap door, other side, same thing. And then we'll add in a spruce sign towards the back. And by the way, this is one of the hatches that's in it. Also delete this button right there. All right. All right, then we'll go up here, delete the machine gun. Add in stairs here, slab, and then daylight detector, make it blue. And we'll actually add in the stairs either side of this, so that cornered, and change the middle one to smooth quartz stairs. Should have been like that originally. Then I'm going to add in a deep slate brick slab in the middle of these stairs like that. Do it on both sides, just like that. Then we'll go to the back and we'll add in our polished deep slate slabs, three blocks wide here. And then spruce signs to the sides of that. And then the other side would we'll do the same thing. Just like this. And we also want to get rid of the tail hook bump here, so delete these two slabs and that trap door instead. Sand or cut on the inside like that. And then we also gotta move these aerolions one block or one slab down, so let's change that. Just the back edge of it. Facing down so you can do that VTOL technology or Stoville like that. And uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much it on how to make the F-35B in this activate position. But yeah, let's move on to the last one, the F-35C. And this is the one with the larger wingspan for carriers. Let's go right over here and we're gonna delete this um, stone bun and we're actually gonna move it one block back, put a stone pressure plate where it was originally. And then we'll take out cobble deep slate slab and we'll change this one up, delete that. Make it more pointy. Then go back here, add in a cobble deep slate side here, delete this. Make this part three blocks long, and then two blocks long here, and then another two at the edge. And then two here, and then this is going to be two, and it should connect like that. And we're pretty much going to copy what we did onto the other side. So it's going to be here, three, and two, and then another two two here and then another two all right and we're actually going to move this polished andesite slab so it's in this corner and fill in the rest with polished deep slate slabs all the way across just so it looks like this then we'll go to the front here and we're going to add in a birch fence gate over here and then an end rod for the grindstone wheel like that and we're also going to get rid of the machine gun here, put a stairs, slab, daylight detector, make it blue, just like that. And that should be pretty much it on how to make the F-35C. Now if you guys want to make it the folded wings, basically what I did uh, was just like one block after the rear one sticks out, we'll have this sticking out, and the rest will just convert it into walls so that they're vertical up. Like that, it's like the same exact blocks. Yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the F-35 fighter jet in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the design. And if you guys do want to see the F-22 Raptor, when this video reaches, I guess, 400 likes, I'll release it. Maybe I'll do it early if I feel like it. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload that video, make sure you are subscribed and check out our Discord. I'll see you guys in the next one.